Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and I am checking out some more Diablo 2 Resurrected. Tonight, this is patch 2.4. Uh, they've made some changes to it recently, but I'm kind of looking at an older build. I wanted to see with the Thorns changes if it is possible to make it playable. Um, this is not an amazing build, but I actually am kind of impressed in certain ways about the skill. Specifically when you're in areas with lots of incoming melee damage. Uh, we're going to look at the character stat point skills, items, and uh, some thoughts on thorns, and we're going to kill some cows with it. So to start with, uh, I tried this first on a paladin, and thorns by itself is kind of lackluster because you've got to take those those swings to actually be effective, and you know you don't really want to be taking that many hits. Then I thought. Well, Druid has Spirit of Barbs that no one ever uses. What if I did that plus an Act 2 Thorns Mercenary? Plus you've got Summons, which take the hits for you. Still, not the best build in the world, but it's kind of fun. Um, basically, 20 points all the way down the Summoning Tree, 20 Spirit of Barbs, and then one point in each of these. They're one-point wonders, really. Uh, these days, they're actually kind of decent now, even uh, with one point in them. And I actually think Spirit of Barbs is adding more damage than Herd of the Wolverine, for cows specifically. Because every time a cow swings, they take 1,200 damage. And when you got 50 cows all swinging at your pets at once, that's a pretty decent amount of damage compared to the small damage your wolves are doing and the compounding damage that Herd of the Wolverine's adding to it. And then I went just enough strength for gear, uh, rest in vitality. As far as the gear goes... Um, we got Beast for Fanaticism. I also tried um, Edge with Bramble. And I don't think that these stack when your Mercenary has Thorns Aura. I played around with it and it didn't seem to make any difference. Though, instead of an Act 2 Merc, maybe you could put these on an Act 1 Merc, is the thought. But uh, if someone has more knowledge on this, let me know. It didn't seem like the Thorns Aura from these items stacked against the merc aura so that's an, uh, a thought you could add these in but i'm not i'm not seeing much difference when i do so i'm using beast for the fanaticism jala's enigma mara spirit sandstorm track soj arachnids enigma frost burns uh mercs using pride for that concentration aura and Darials and chains of Arnders just to get the thorns a little bit higher so basically, the Thorns on my Merc is level 32 and is adding 688 damage every time my pets are attacked. Spirit of Barb is adding 1247. So together they're doing, what, that's approaching like a little over 2000 damage. And, uh, or right around 2000 damage. And Hell Cows have between like, sorry, around like 10 and 15,000 health at player one difficulty. So do the math there. They still have to swing you know, five to seven times uh, to die, not considering any of the other damage being dealt. Um, so this is not a build that probably scales beyond player one, but I actually think Spirit of Barbs may be better than Heart of the Wolverine, though if you want the the life and kind of protection you get from Oak Sage, that's a different matter. But as far as just dealing damage on cows, it, it kind of works. It's definitely not still competing with um, like a necromancer but you know I found it kind of fun we'll just see and you can see uh, those lives are going down you know fairly quick my Merc's doing a lot of that damage too though but you can get like a whole lot of cows together and then just spam your wolves like in their general vicinity and then just watch the damage kind of slowly tick down And also, this is uh, after the patch. So you can kind of see it's doing decent damage. Oh, there's physical immune, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. And I tried this with both um, the Dire Wolves and the um, Spirit Wolves. The Spirit Wolves, they die a bit quicker just because of the lower health pool and the lower defense. Even though you can have five of them up. Uh, I can't do anything because that's physical immune. Just move over here. 
Yeah, definitely it has some issues. I could pull out my actual, my uh, spirit wolves in that case because they do cool damage, but I'm not going to bother. What is up with all the physical immunes tonight? Yeah, so like every time they swing, they're taking 2,000 or so damage. And then, um, you know, the summons are doing a little bit of damage too. Man, if I had Corpse Explosion, it'd be like one, one Corpse Explosion, everything's dead there. He does not have enough lifesteal. Oh, it's like Pride is not... That's right. Pride has really low damage on it, so... I don't even know if the Pride is necessarily worth it, because the pets are really not doing that much damage. Uh, concentration is only adding so much, and I don't know. It may be more worthwhile to get... Um, to use a Might versus the Thorn. Thorns is only returning about 500. But I, I really wanted to try to max out that Thorns damage. Those new Ravens are kind of interesting. So now they're doing about 4,000 damage. Where before I think it was like 5 mine were doing. So it's definitely doing more. However, uh, it's they do last longer. So there's less kind of babysitting them. Which is kind of nice. So... Yeah, it's not a build that's going to set the world on fire, but in Nightmare, I think it would actually be pretty effective. And then in Hell, you know, at least in Cows and things um, where there's a lot of melee damage incoming. Like, I was actually kind of thinking about Act 3, where you've got, like, those areas where you just have, like, a ton of, like, Stygian dolls and a ton of, like, the weaker enemies that rush you and melee you. Um, it could actually be pretty effective there. I might actually bounce over there and just check it out. But, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's an alternative. And I actually think it might make the summon druid just a little bit better than it was. And it actually kind of scales with the more enemies you have because they're all swinging and all taking 2,000 damage every time they swing at you. But again, like a single corpse explosion from a necro would beat the speed on this, you know, by so much. That one skill makes the necromancer so much more playable. You kind of just see, like, every time they attack, they're taking about, I don't know, 10 to 15% of their health. Maybe 10 to 20%. I'm not sure of any other ways to add thorns beyond that, like Bramble and Edge. There's nothing that, like, as far as I'm aware of, increases the thorns a damage or multiplier or anything. That'd be kind of interesting, but... If there's any items I'm missing, let me know, but nothing's coming to mind when I was, when I was thinking about it. Yeah, so, if I scaled this up, I think it would not work. Players you know, three, five, eight, I don't, because Thorns now is a flat damage return, it's not um, a percentage of the enemy's damage, so I don't think it would be effective um, at higher difficulties by any means. I'm not even going to try, it's not, not going to be really worth it. I think it may be Traven Call, these guys are predominantly melee attacks, right? And honestly, I don't know how much the thorns is adding here versus just my pet damage. I 
They're getting a couple of hits in, but... Yeah, if there's any area um, that has, you know, mostly melee guys you can think of with lower health pools, I think would be useful too, because it's doing like 2,000 back every time they get a, a hit against you. So like... I'm trying to think of a good 85 area that would would accommodate that. I think cows is probably going to be the most optimal just because of the density and they're, you know, they're all melee guys. Um, but there's got to be some other areas out there. Yeah, so that's, that's the updated thorns. Is it amazing? No, certainly not. Is it better than it was? I think so in most cases. You know, the percentage return damage may actually scale better at the higher difficulties. But I don't think it was... The enemies are not dealing enough damage to you in most cases to make that return damage, you know, meaningful, I think, before. So... Uh, yeah, if you got any thoughts, if there's any items or areas I should, I should test this on... Uh, you know, if there's something about this build I'm missing, just let me know. But it's, I think, an okay player one build. Um, and I think the change to thorns are generally positive. But it's still, could definitely use some, some tuning upwards, I think. I could probably double the damage numbers here and it still wouldn't be, you know, even a mid-tier build. Alright, I'm going to end the video. Uh, if you enjoy this... Uh, please do like and subscribe, and thank you again for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day.